Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh. Ba'asham Yahweh Shah, Ba'asham Yahweh Shah, Ba'asham Yahweh Shah, Ba'asham Yahweh Shah, the Elder, Paul says a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. And Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 25, titled Sundary Laws or Diverse Laws or Miscellaneous Laws, Multiple Laws, Variant Laws, you know? Various laws. Deuteronomy 25 and 1. If there be a controversy between men, and they come unto judgment, that the judges may judge them, then they shall justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. And and we can't do that right now because a lot of our people, you know who they go to? They go to Esau. They go to the unjust for justice. 1 Corinthians 6, 1. Dare any of you having a matter against another, another Israelite, go to law before the unjust? Are you going go to go to, to the law before the Romans or the wicked Israelites? And not before the saints? Right. Basically, you could say for the wicked Israelites, but it's talking about that. Are you going to go to another race for justice? And that is what our people are doing. Look at the court system right now concerning custody of the children. If they judge out of the Bible, these females are getting nothing. And therefore, they're going to stay. But since that, you know, Esau puts his hand in your relationship. He doesn't mind his business. Of course, the female is going to choose the wicked path. Because... Believe it or not, First Timothy, First Timothy five and fourteen. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, and give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. And who is the adversary? What is Satan? What does Satan mean? Adversary, accuser, Shatan. So give no occasion to the adversary. And in this case, it would be people that have demons on them, man. Because these females give these people an occasion to speak evil. For example, there's something going on right now. Like, uh, for example, this. Well, this is not actually what I wanted to show. But there is going on a... How do you call that thing again? Damn. I just had it in my head. <laughs> wow. Maybe maybe if I look at this channel, it's going to jump up in my head again. You had this. Yeah, this guy. Right? Because the court systems and stuff like that, they're going to side with this female. <clears throat> this doofus. This doofus out here, you know, busted the, he got this girl pregnant and now she's trying to sue him, basically not sue him, but she's trying to get up in them pockets and stuff like that because they're angry and they're bitter that he just, because if he was a nobody, she wouldn't even try to keep the kid, but she be thinking like he got that YouTube money, <laughs> but it's all good, man. You know, they get what they deserve and that's what's up. That's what's up. So, yeah. And, uh, but this one is also a funny one. You know, they got that real hatred for their fathers, which is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And then the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7 says that the, these curses shall come upon our enemies. And it's coming upon them right now. Look at how joyful she's laughing, trying to destroy her father's life and business. You know? It's just joyful. Look at that. Look at this. She's really into it. And this demon too. But it's all good because they eat Edomites and they're being destroyed because the curses is coming upon them. Okay, get ready for a pretty amazing story that includes this judge, Judge Leslie Alden, putting me in jail for contempt of court as part of my divorce case. 
and she gave me a one-year sentence. The next thing you know, I was sitting in a large holding cell in the Fairfax County, Virginia jail Whoa. with a large crowd of inmates waiting to be processed to include MS-13 gang members and members of the notorious R Street gang in Washington, D.C. Yeah, why are you here? You know what I'm saying they here for some of them for murder, uh, rape, uh, whatever, every type of crazy type of crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Gang bang, whatever, whatever, man, whatever. But what are you here for? I'm here for basically marriage uh, stuff, you know, that uh, they think I didn't pay, but, it, you know, it's all bullshit. But anyway, Esau's fallen. I was still dressed in my business suit when I entered the holding cell. Shame on you, judge. Shame on you, like that was gonna work. <laughs> Shame, ain't y'all, ain't y'all Americans on an anti-shame thing? But I like this guy, I like this guy. I don't, I don't like him too much, but, well, I don't hate him, you know. Th this one I don't like, this guy is effeminate as hell, I just don't like this guy. He's effeminate, he look like, he does, he does like a female, he act like a female, I don't like that. I don't like this guy. But anyway, I'm not for this guy's message because what he's trying to do is he's trying to build men back up and I don't want that I want them to be destroyed I want them to be punished for the things that they did upon our people and I want these curses to come upon them and overtake them just like how they over they come up came upon us and overtook us and we couldn't help it neither should they be able to be helping it Deuteronomy 30 and 7 and Yahweh thy power shall will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So which are these curses? Among, among, among how many? I mean, among which, uh, so among all these curses, then these are a few of them. Among the many curses, that's what I actually wanted to say. These are a few of the curses among many of the curses that came upon us when we angered the Lord so now it's their time you know they're angry in the Lord their females hate them their daughters hate them their daughters commit adultery all that type of crazy stuff I saw a video and I just looked at it and I was just angry but uh, it's good but the fact that these females are doing these things you should be looking at them like wow you have no man whatever you have no, no wisdom whatsoever. <laughs> She's like, God damn, you're a demon, man. You know, she said something to, I didn't save it. She said, yeah, she made a video for her father. And then she was telling her father, look, I just need dick. You know, she's an OnlyFans bitch or whatever like that. I just need dick. I want dick. What was the video again? Um, she married stepdaughter, stepfather. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Now this is this is funny. This guy's funny. I like this guy. He's very funny. <laughs> but the other other Jake, you know, I like the Jake too. But his message is more like he's trying to build America back up again and make America great again. Yeah, you dumbass. Yeah, but not to that certain degree. Degree. But still, he's trying to help the. The men get better females. No, I want all y'all to be destroyed. That's a good thing. This is their fall. and But he doesn't understand. You know, he thinks we're one. And we're all to get in together now. We're all American. And, you know, that's what he's thinking. To his uh, fellow American Edomites. Devils that hate your guts. Anyway. Right, check this out. Dad, I am so sorry you have to see this, but I need dick, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm horny, and I need a man, like, pull through, you know, in my line, like, damn me, like, <laughs> emotional, damn it. That's crazy, boy, that's crazy, but me, I, I don't know, 
when I saw that shit, I was like, yo, you need your ass to get killed. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that, man. If your daughter did this, well, she's an Edomite, obviously, you know. But if your Jake daughter did this, you know what I'm saying, you would think of killing her. Like, uh, 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 shit. Wow, it's crazy. But anyway, these are the type of things that are going on in the midst of these Edomites right now. You know, their daughters are turning into what? Whores. Their, their, their wives into a... What was it again? Mm. Oh, yeah. Hosea 4 and Hosea 7. Their, their, their wives are turning into adulterers. Hosea 4 and... 13. They sacrifice upon the top of the mountains. This is what the Israelites did. And burn incense upon the hills under oaks and poplars and elms, which are trees. Because the shadow thereof is good. Just like the Bohemian Grove... Our people used to also go to the groves and do that worship type of bullshit there over there too. Satanic things. Okay? Therefore, so because we did that, your daughters shall commit whoredom and your spouses shall commit adultery. That's what the Lord cursed us with. Since we wanted to commit spiritual adultery with Him because our, our people had the spirit of whoredom upon them by going with other gods. That you're a whore because you're you're supposed to be married unto the Lord. That's why in the book of Matthew 25 it says that the ten virgins and the ten sorry, the ten wise virgins and the ten stupid virgins. Let me see if it's stupid. I it, know it, it's not it doesn't say stupid. It's basically the, te, the ten virgins. Five are wise, five are foolish. That's what I should should have said. Here. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. Right, we're, we're symbolically supposed to be married unto the Lord. That's why he's going to marry us unto his son, Yahweh Shai, which is mentioned in the book of Matthew 22. And also here, you know, because we are married unto him, where is it? He is the bridegroom. He grooms the bride. And we are supposed to be married unto him. And we will, eventually. But... If you go to other God, you're a whore, and therefore you need to be put to death. That's what the Lord will do, by the way, because you committed adultery on him. So now we committed adultery on him, on him, and, and now he sent his son to come and marry us. And uh, if you don't want to marry his son, then hey, you, 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 <laughs> you're going to be in a lot of pain. I'll just say that. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. That's why you see females like this running around muck. They're running the muck. You can't stop them neither. They ain't getting punished. They're making videos for their father. Dad, I'm so sorry you have to see this. Man, I saw a Reddit, not just saw, I, I know a Reddit. Yeah, dad would be proud. I wouldn't advise you to click on it. Let me see if I'm if I'm correct with this one. Wait, because maybe it's in something else. Wait, let me see something. Yeah, you shouldn't click on this thing if you ain't 18 years old. And if you don't want to see hoes, then you should not click on this thing. You know, but like I said, this is the fall of the Edomite nation. So this is just beautiful to see them do these type of things. Because these are the type of things that our females used to do and are still doing until this day. Because. For First Timothy chapter 5 verse 15. For, for some are already turned aside after Satan. That's why. And this was 2,000 years ago. How much more now? Because back in those days. You already had multiple antichrists <clears throat> that denied Yahweh Shai, anti, anti Mashiach, anti Messiah, right? Because it says here, First John chapter four, verse three, 
And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh is not of the Heavenly Father. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, wherefore ye have heard that it should come. And even now already, two thousand years ago, is it in the world. So there were already Antichrists here, First John 2 and 18, little children, it is the last time. <clears throat> and as ye have heard that, the, that Antichrist shall come, even now, 2,000 years ago, there are many Antichrists with an S. That's why you need to just just laugh at these Edomites when they make videos like, The Antichrist is coming! The Antichrist is coming! Yeah, you need to laugh at them because they're so stupid. But that shows you that they cannot read because the Lord, the Lord is doing this to them. He's darkening their minds. They're too stupid to understand. Acts chapter 8, verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him, the Philip the prophet. Well, the, 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 man, the man of the Lord. And heard him read the prophet Isaiah, which is the book of Isaiah. And said, so Philip told, asked him, Understandest what thou readest? And he, the man, the... the Ethiopian eunuch which was an Israelite being called an Ethiopian just like how you are called an American right now you live in America right but according to people around the world you're an African living in America but we know that you're an Israelite living in America and America is not even the name of the land the Native Americans didn't name it America they didn't name themselves Native Americans neither <laughs> They got named that, just like how you got named black people and Africans. Going on. And he said, how can I, except some man should guide me. So you need a guide in this truth, man. You're not just going to open up the book and just read it and understand what it's saying. You actually need somebody to help you. And from there on, then the Lord can come and sup with you and make you understand stuff. That's how it works. You're not going to open the book yourself and just figure it out. You can try. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Because Philip, the spirit told Philip, go talk to him. Now you might say in your head, like, hey, wait a minute. The prophets used to hear voices. Yes, they do. Yes, they did. And... You also had Samuel hearing voices. Um, yeah, can I press enter? Samuel here. Um, it was in the book of hmm, no, it says that. Uh, The Most High called him. The first Samuel 3. He called him. But only he can hear. So yeah, he heard voices. Yeah, You would probably lock him up right now. You you devils. Well, and you stupid ass negroids also. You see 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse. Hmm. Well, you can read the whole chapter if you want to, but he said it run around. Well, I'll get this one. Verse 16. Then Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. And he answered, Here am I. And he said, What is this thing that the Lord had said unto thee? I pray thee, hide it. No, anyway, he already talked to him. <laughs> that the Lord called Samuel and he answered, Here am I. No, wait. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. And the child Samuel ministered unto Yahweh before Eli. No, it was already, it's already happened here. No, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 okay. And Samuel was laid down to sleep, that Yahweh called Samuel, and he answered, Here am I. And he ran unto Eli, so the Heavenly Father called him. So he heard it, so he died, uh, Here am I, I'm here. And he ran unto Eli and said, Here am I. For thou callest me, and he said, I call thee not, I call not, I called, wait, what? 
And he said, I called not, lie down again. And he went and lay down. So he went to Eli and he said like, oh, so, sir, did you call me? Eli said, I didn't call you, man. Go back to sleep. And Yahweh called yet again Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli. And man, you know how spooky this would be nowadays, man, for these people that don't understand what the hell is going on? Think about it. You straight up, you straight up hear somebody calling you like, hey, hey, yo, 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 Samuel. You would, you would, you would, you man, man, man. And said, here am I. For thou didst call me. And he answered, I called not, my son. Lie down again. So he's like, I didn't call you. So you can go back to sleep. Now Samuel did not yet know Yahweh. He didn't know him. He, 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 he. Neither was the word of Yahweh yet revealed unto him. See? But he was talking to him. But he didn't know. Like, hey, that's the most. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't know. He didn't know. And Yahweh called Samuel again the third time. And he rose and went to Eli. And said, here am I. For thou didst call me. He's like, man, you, why are you? You keep on calling me. What, what are you doing? And Eli perceived that Yahweh had called the child. You see? Now now he said, oh, oh, I already know what's going on. Therefore said Eli unto Samuel, go, lie down, and it shall be. If he call thee, that thou shalt say, speak, Yahweh. <laughs> For thy servant heareth. Mm. So Samuel went and laid down in his place. Right, so basically, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going, he's going to deal with you further, Lord willing, of course, but you do need a guide, you know. Right, but anyway, going back over, where was I again? Hmm. Where was I again? Over. You know, oh, okay, cool. Hmm. Wow, I actually forgot my train of thought. What the hell was I talking about? <laughs> anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you read the scriptures, you're not going to understand all, all often. Like you know, you need somebody to guide you. But anyway, the point is that they're falling, and this is a beautiful thing to see. So yeah. These are the things that are going on in the world, and a lot of people might get angry. Even me, even me, get angry. Like I tell you, you demon. But this is not the only one, because there was a Jake female that was talking mad dog feces about the Jake men. Because a lot of females over there, they hate so-called black men. They hate them. I can show you a video right now. It's on his page, and I think it's this video. Let me see. Where should it go? No. This video. Um, I just saw it re the, the, today. I saw it. I saw it today. Mm, okay, I don't know which one it is because I just clicked on it. I just clicked on it. So yeah, I wasn't really going to his page. I, I think I, th I think I think it was here. I just clicked on it. I don't know. Let me see. No, that's not him. That's somebody else. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe it's here no I don't know I don't know no no it's not here so yeah sorry about that anyway you have a lot of hating uh, Jake females toward the Jake men and it's just crazy I think you know I even think that I clicked the video away because I couldn't stand that shit man I'm not gonna listen to that. You, I'm gonna have murderous thoughts. I'm gonna wanna do stuff in my head. I, I, I didn't feel like it, so I was like, fuck it. I just clicked it away. But uh, it irritated me, so I clicked it away. But when I look at stuff like this, I'll be like, oh God, you, you, yeah, the Heavenly Father, He's doing this to them now. Beautiful. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 50. Yeah, 50. Four, so that the no, it's fifty-six, the tender and delicate woman among you, the Israelite woman, 
which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Yeah, there was real feminine back then. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son <clears throat> and toward her daughter and also, of course, toward her parents and stuff like that. Very disrespectful, come on. I have seen many of these type of things and here, here is where you can really, really get down. You can really see it. You're gonna just look at it like, what the fuck are they doing? That's what they're doing? They're showing their father? I'm gonna warn you, this is some straight up porn, okay? Uh, shit like this, she's talking, well, here they're doing it. Some of them even call their father while they're being plowed or send them, hey, just, I don't even wanna mention it, man. Let me just leave it at that, you know, just, Go watch for yourself if you if you really if you really want to see the horror downfall of uh, these devils, and then you should think about what the thing what the things that our uh, wives and daughters were doing. You have to understand this is the future mothers of the Caucasus race, the Edomite race. These are their future mothers. Fucking funny. Look at this shit. This is what they're doing. Crazy. Anyway, let me go on. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 25, verse, yeah, so verse, uh, the rest of one. Then they shall justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. And it shall be, if the, if the wicked man be worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down and to be beaten before his face according to his fault by a certain number so you would get your your behind whoop 40 stripes he may give him and not exceed less if he should exceed sorry if he should exceed yeah and beat him above these with many stripes then thy brother should seem vile unto thee yeah you can't do that he's supposed to get 40 and not more than that wait right because the one that is getting beat and after that if he gets more than the 40 stripes then he would seem vile unto you basically it would be the be the the great it would sorry it would be degrading for you would look at him different like this guy is nothing basically it's just like you are in a relationship with a girl and then another man buys gifts for her. That's what Esau is kind of doing by giving them free, free money. And then he fights for them too. You know, he's their defender and not you. And therefore they spit on you in your face because they know like, bitch, you can't do nothing. You, you nothing. You know what I'm saying? I call the white boy. You know, the white man. Cold white man. Right, vile. So it's two words instead of one. So Hebrew seventy thirty four, Hebrew fifty eight sixty nine. Your eye, right? Your mind, of mental and spiritual faculties. Basically, your mind would be uh, you're you're gonna look at him with disgrace, with dishonor. But he's your fellow Israelite, your brother. Therefore. He should not get more than 40 stripes or else you're going to look down on him. Just like how a girl looks down on you when the government gives her free money and free housing. Better than you. They're going to look down on you because they, they're better than you. But another male helps them. Go to Suriname, do that fucking shit. Let me see if you're independent or not. Go, go do it. Go, go to South America. Go to South America, where I'm from, right? Go over there, talk about the government is going to support you. Let's, let's find out what happens. You're going to run back to Europe, run back to America, and get help from the government, because Esau will help you. Verse 4. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Right. This is another law. These are all various laws. 
right you can't muzzle the ox so what is what does that represent it represents this you can't muzzle an ox that works for you because he needs to feed when he feels like it in the middle of the work if he feels hungry then he just goes and eat he can't he you shouldn't muzzle him these people need to be whipped 40 lashes <laughs> for doing this to these poor animals he's already doing the work for you if he wants to eat don't starve him to death because you want to be on schedule you need your ass whooped doing this once we get that power we gonna have the law in real effect I'm gonna whoop your ass even if you didn't do anything I'll just whip you because I'm gonna punish you for all the things that you have done upon our people anyway so I'm gonna just bust your head in that's the, what the Lord said that I will be able to do and that just me all Israelites the book of Psalms 149 shows you that and also the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 25 on down actually 26 but yeah so do not muzzle an ox when he treaded out the corn what is treading the corn treading is trampling on oh, threshing field threshing floor here treaded out the corn this is it so what what is he doing he's uh stomping out the so he you you basically you're yeah let me see here better picture right you got these cows walking in a circle and then you have this uh, board here this wooden board on the stone floor then you grind it as if you would grind let me see as if you would do this no 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 hey what oh we we come <laughs> upper <laughs> here here upper another I put I put in great millstone I shouldn't have put that <laughs> yeah basically it's a bigger version of this because here you flatten out the corn the weed or corn you know and uh, yeah, you can make uh, mice bread, you know. Mice bread is yellow. Came from corn, corn bread, corn bro. Back in the days, uh, people got real big and strong from corn bread because it was no like a crazy GMO as how it is now. But anyway, that's why they always used to say them corn bread, them corn fed bread niggas. It was big and strong because the food was different back then. <laughs> Nowadays, they're giving you a lot of estrogen in the food. I have a I have a documentary will shows you that uh, the common chemicals that castrate men. Common chemicals. Common chemicals that uh, drugs such as that 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 have estrogen in it but um, that's not what I'm looking for common chemicals shampoo hairspray soap well pla pa plastic and all these things common chemicals are making your boy soft yes that's true I have a documentary on that and the documentary has been removed from uh, YouTube because I put it there and they f they uh, 18 year old flagged me it's like what what what, what, is, what, is, what is so bad about this wait let me let me show you wait All right check it out the documentary is called the common chemicals that are making men infertile common chemicals there It's not just making you infertile. It's actually making you a, a female. You know, um, they know. They know exactly what they're doing. They're not gonna teach you. Well, they did teach you, but yeah, these. You see, the documentary is offline. Only you get the trailer. On. I think this is it. 
I'm not sure. I love documents. Okay, cool. I think this is it. Yeah, you need to be 18. Because I know I had it too. And members only. Because I know I had it too on my channel. And then they they age restricted it. I was like, what? The, why would you do that? Yeah, because they don't want the young uh, people to see. The young guys to see. Because they're going to be afraid of what? They're going to be afraid of all this plastic thing. All these things. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce these words. I do know BPA, very dangerous. BPA dangerous. Here, you see, children, plastic, water, is a chemical produced in large quantities for the for the primarily for the foot for use primarily in the production of yeah another word, polycarbonate plastics. Just 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 put in plastics, bro. But they don't tell you the dangerousness, the harmful, the dangerous. Possible, possible. It's not sure. We're white. We don't know nothing sure. <laughs> Fucking devils. Health effect on the brain and prostate gland of fetuses. That's why in this documentary you will see that there is a region where there's chemicals where they make plastic and they burn it. All the people there born are girls. I'm not making this up. Canada. Canada and um, town. And they do it where the Native Americans are. Because polluted here. See? I didn't even type in pollution. I didn't do anything. But these devils know. They have these articles floating around about Canada's chemical valley. Yeah, motherfucker. Fucking devils. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing, man. Don't think that these cave monkeys are stupid. They're playing stupid. They're fucking smart. I fucking hate these devils. It's nothing more worse than a smart devil. But that's why the Lord is going to exterminate them. So that's fun. Just to know. So I don't need to be that angry. But... I do know what they're doing, and they're doing it because they wanted to kill the, the just like back in the days in the Pharaoh time, they killed the firstborn of the men, they killed all the men, and then they kept the females alive, yeah, they've been doing that for centuries, no, thousands of years, even that one, let me see, uh, Exodus chapter 2, verse, no, it was one, there was one, I think. Exodus chapter 1 verse 16 and he said when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools which is a here this uh, stools birth stools the birth stools here these things well this this is modern but uh, ancient because uh, yeah, the, you have the uh, the uh, oh, sorry, the uh, I wanted to say Hebrews, I mean the uh, uh, Egyptians, the Hamites. I wanted to say, you had the Hamites, Egyptians. They was doing it too. Every every nation on the planet Earth was doing it. Even these these vile Edomites, they was doing it too. As you can see here, you this is a midwife, and this was then the woman giving birth, and then you had a, 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 a the stools. Which is a little thing that they set up on to give birth. Because you're supposed to sit. Then give birth. Not lay on your back. See, they're stupid. See, they are, they are stupid. They are a stupid nation. A foolish nation. But the wise men of Esau, they know what they're doing. The rest, they, these people are foolish. I mean, come on, man. You haven't seen it? They got, they got 72 genders. Look at them. <laughs> but the wise men of Edom put it in their head. Because they know they can manipulate you because you're stupid. You're stupid. Anyway. If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. So they've been doing that. So that's why they are here. Pollution debate born of Chemical Valley's girl baby boom. And who are they actually destroying? They're killing the Native American men there in Canada. In the uh, 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 Chemical Valley, which race? 
which people um, which people are there Native Americans I, I know because it's in the documentary I never been to Canada but I seen the see here there you go that's what I was looking for Native Americans they're there look this is their you see Certain people have look look at this fucking shit. They live here. Look at this shit. Certain people have this for a view. I know I spelled it wrong. Beautiful views in uh, here. You got beautiful views in rural America, whatever. You got beautiful views like this. You know, beautiful views like this. This is their backyard. Uh, beautiful views of the rich. Here you go. These rich mansions, you have beautiful views and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the natives, which are Israelites also. They have Cancer Valley. <laughs> That's what these devils are doing to us. I might be laughing right now. You think you you think you you think uh, how can I say it? You think I think it's funny. It, uh, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Tr trash my room? <laughs> I still gotta live here, right? Um, once I get that spiritual power, then I can really um, show you my anger. For but for now, I just laugh. I will laugh. I can't do anything anyway. So ask the Lord but he already has his schedule so I would uh, I would love for him to give me that spiritual power so I can show you my love for you but anyway this is their background this is their view this is what they see every day when they wake up and uh, yeah just watch the documentary if you have the time where the boys aren't oh another one here here, I just showed you that. Here. That I'm, I don't even know how you pronounce it. I'm, uh, I'm, okay, okay, I'm not going to try to stop it. Right. Anyway, it's here. First Nation. The First Nation people, right? Over the past five years, the First Nation people on the outskirts of Sarnia has been nearly two girls born for every... You know what? Uh, two girls go for everyone. Two girls go for everyone. Usually run a female bed. Anyway, I don't want to get too much in it. I'll, ju I'll just leave the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. All these things here. They're doing it to kill you. And they're also... Look, they're going to explain to you in the documentary that they found out by accident that, that, that plastic has artificial estrogen in it. I'm not playing they found it out by accident and then they use it as a weapon now because they know about it there's no thing there's no secret that they can hide from thee for thou art wiser than daniel these edomites are doing stuff bro you don't know what they're doing but they're doing it but anyway let me get up in the video because i'm like 40 minutes 43 minutes deep didn't even read good so let me just go down upon it you know what i'm saying break it down Deuteronomy chapter 25 verse 5 If brethren dwell together and one of them die and have no child the wife of the dead the dead brother shall not marry without unto a stranger so she cannot marry outside of that family to a stranger no more her husband's brother shall go in unto her and take her to him to wife and perform the duty of an husband's brother unto her yeah man so a lot of you would love this law right about now because uh, a lot of you are pieces of shit because but this was only this this will only be if the if the if the man dies not what what a lot of guys are doing right now with their brother's wives which is fucking them which is not good you need to be put to death for that according to the scriptures but i'm not telling you to do it but you will the lord will judge you you know but back in the days, what we did do was 
we make a chill a child for our brother that the bloodline of our brother does not die because you are the bloodline of your father and he your brother that that is dead is also the bloodline of your same father so it would be the same bloodline yeah that's what's up because if if somebody else comes and lay with a wife with a woman then she carries his bloodline his family and his father's family 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 but if she lays with one of your brethren after your death of course then it would be your father both of y'all your father's bloodline which is the same thing that you would pass on anyway but only if you die not while he is alive that's not good that's a sin and you will be judged death is uh, the judgment in this in this in these days the 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 old days and it's just because we're not being put to death right now for adultery doesn't mean you should be doing it that uh, you should keep that in mind also and it shall be that the firstborn which which she beareth shall succeed in the name of his brother which is dead that his name be not put out of Israel so guess what if you didn't have a son bye bye with your name but the Lord did say that let not the eunuch which some eunuchs are born eunuchs some eunuchs are castrated made eunuchs by men that's castration and some eunuchs they have put themselves aside from basically having sex Paul was a eunuch he didn't have sex. Yahweh was also a eunuch. He didn't have sex. He put himself aside for the Lord's sake. Isaiah 56 verse 3. Neither let the son of the stranger, which is an Israelite foreigner, that hath joined himself to Yahweh, speak, saying, Yahweh had utterly separated me from his people. Here it comes. Neither let the eunuch... say behold i am a dry tree that shows you that people are symbolically trees also and how is he a dry tree he has no fruit and what is the fruit of the body when you were a wife this is then therefore the fruit of the body symbolically deuteronomy 28 and Eighteen, curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land you see the fruit of the body what is that and the fruit of the land what is that this one we know it's you know the fruit of the land the trees the actual physical trees the green ones <laughs> and then you have the children so curse shall be your children curse shall thou be when thou comest in as being born and curse shall that be when thou goest out. That's why a lot of people say, yeah, when you are born black, you're cursed. And when you die so-called black, you're cursed. That's because it's in the scriptures. That's why. And the same thing for the Native Americans too. And the Latinos. And the Mexicanos. But the heavy curses are upon Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Which are the so-called Negro-looking tribes. Negro, Negro so-called black looking tribes <clears throat> right so then going back to over here Deuteronomy chapter 25 verse 7 and if the man like not to take his brother's wife then let his brother's wife go up to the gate unto the elders and say my husband's brother refuse it to raise up unto his brother a name in Israel he will not perform the duty of an, of my husband's brother. Then the elders of his city shall call him and speak unto him. And if he stand to it, to it and say, I like not to take her. Then shall his brother's wife come unto him in the presence of the elders. And loose his shoe from off his foot and spit in his face. That's why you have a lot of girls right now spitting in your face. It's very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. What you should be able to do is actually knock her teeth out. But then again, I, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Yeah. 
and shall answer and say, So shall it be done unto that man that will not build up his brother's house. See? That's how you build up your brother's house after he dies. She's not supposed to go marry somebody else. She's supposed to stay with you and bring a child unto your your deceased brother. The book of Numbers chapter 27 and also the book of Numbers chapter 36 explains to you what happens when you don't have a son. You know? Right? Because you can't... Well, it's, it's a little bit different than this, but it's more of the legacy. It's not there. Yeah, your name, your name is gonna is gonna perish. Your, your name is not gonna be there anymore, because women give birth; they don't give life. So women give birth to what? They give birth to somebody else's life, uh, somebody else his seed, which the seed is alive. It comes into the womb and then it comes forth out of the between her legs, you know, out of the. Of the uh, the female genital but it comes in by the man the man's genital but anyway so it says here verse 10 and his name shall be called in Israel the house of him that had his shoe loosed <laughs> you gonna have a bad rap you know he was you was being selfish when men strive together one with another and the wife of the one draw it near for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smited him. So he's, he, he's beating them up. He's beating them up. And the wife of, uh, the ones that being beat, that's being beaten up, his wife, and put it forth her hand and take it in by the secrets, which is Shabal's. Then thou shalt cut off her hand. Thine eye shall not pity her. And what is the reason why? Because Israel is my son. Let my people go so he must let my son go so that he may serve me. Deuteronomy, Exodus chapter 4, verse 23. 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith Yahweh, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. That's very, very powerful. That the he, he to him belongs all the glory and all the right. He's the strength. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And he did, because he killed all the firstborn in the land of Israel. But remember, they killed a lot of firstborn, a lot of sons they killed in the time when they was trying to kill Moses. Prevent and prevent him from being born. He was already born, sucker. But you're going to still pay for that. And you did, because the Lord killed your sons. Ha ha. And that's waiting for you Edomites, because you murdered a lot of our people. Hmm. You, you want to know what's going to happen to you? It wouldn't be murder. I tell you that. It's going to be righteous killings. The Lord is going to do that. And he's not going to and, um, spare you. Right. Now this is the book of Deuteronomy 23 and 1. He that is wounded in the stones, in your, your balls, or hath his private member cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. So that's why the woman is supposed to get her hand chopped off. Why? You are coming between the Most High and His prized goods, which are the men of Israel. Now it says here Isaiah 5 and 7 For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. And what is a vineyard? A vineyard is something where wine is at, right? Grapes and stuff like that. And why is why is the vineyard made? Here. Sirach 31 27 Wine is as good as a, as life to a man, if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. So, 
wine is made to make men glad okay so the vineyard of the Lord which makes him glad is the house of Israel the 12 tribes the men of Judah his pleasant plant the three the, the the favorite of the Lord the men of Judah but there falls also Judah Benjamin and Levi you know because they're the southern tribe they stick with the Lord it was the house of Israel that eh. I'll just say this um, the first one that went off was the house of Israel if you read first Kings you will see you can see there and then the house of Judah they went off which is Judah Benjamin and Levi they went off also later on but still his favorite and pleasant plant is uh, Judah right but we all have sinned before the Lord that's why but that's why the Lord said here Zechariah chapter 12 verse 7 Yahweh also shall save the tents of Judah first why would he do that well that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem uh huh do not magnify themselves against Judah oh that's why because they will magnify themselves against Judah even now they think they're better uh, you go to South America eh? and uh, just walk around uh, not really in Suriname because there's a lot of dark skinned people over there of us <laughs> so, but go to them Latin countries because I'm not I'm not I'm not Latin bro but go to the Latin countries and start in South America and see how they don't like you. <laughs> You'd be like, what? You fucking monkey. What? But they call you a monkey. Yeah. But anyway. They really think they're better than you because they got raped by Esau. And now they look like Esau. And now they glorify the rapist side of their family. Which is the, the pale skin. They eat my flesh, raw flesh. And then they think they're better than you. They think they're more beautiful than you. They magnify themselves against you because you're a doggy. You're a dog. You're a dog. You're little. I look like Esau better than you too. Right. Esau is the first to fucking burn you with fire after he uses you to come fight me. And all the other niggas. But uh, but the Lord is gonna, he's gonna do away with those type of Israelites, anyway. So it's gonna be fun to watch, and then he's gonna bring back the twelve tribes together, and the rest that don't like it, they are gonna die. Bye bye. You gonna die just like Esau. That's gonna be fun, right? So now going back over here. Yeah. That's the reason why you need to chop her hand off. And like I'm saying, I'm not telling you to go do this right now. Because you have a lot of females right now trying to kick you in the balls and stuff like that. That means you need to chop her foot off. Don't do it. Don't do it. We are not under the... We, are, we don't have the power to put these laws in full effect. Just like we don't have the power to do Leviticus 20 and 13. We can't do that. Oh, you, you okay? You you can, but you shouldn't. You can do a lot of things. You know, you can jump off a bridge. That's a hundred meters high. You can you 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 can do it, but that doesn't mean you should. You know, you can jump out of a plane without a parachute. Yeah, it's, it's possible. It's in the realm of possibility. Mm -hmm. You can do it, but but you shouldn't be doing it. You know, it's a lot of things you can do, and which you should. Verse 13. Now, all right, sorry. Thou shall not have in thy bags diverse weights, a great and a small. Uh, what was that? I can't wait. So, right, now check this out. D uh, diverse weights, right? It's uh, talking about that back in the days, you, well, you can do it now too. It's about defrauding each other because mm, a lot of people basically defraud you you know for example Leviticus 19 35 
ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. In meta yard, in weight, or in measure. Is meta yard again? Yeah, it's definition by everyone. Measure of length. Yeah, yard. I should have known that. Yeah, the yard. Right. Basically, you can't defraud. It's not you. You. It's an abomination unto the Lord. Just balances which goes into money just weight is how you weigh money a just efat is another measurement of money and a just hin also the same thing type of measurements shall ye have i am yahweh your power which brought you out of the land of egypt a false balance is abomination to yahweh and what is the balance is money but a just weight is his delight so Let's say you have a product that cost five hundred dollars, but then you know you fake fake that it's scarce, and then you start charging people fifteen hundred. You you a fucking you a demon man. You a goddamn you a goddamn demon man. You a demon, and you're lying too. And that's exactly what Esau did with that PlayStation. And many more things. All of a sudden, in the store, all the food just went up. Like, what? What are you talking about? There's, you know what's funny? They said that, legit son, because check this out. This is a false balance. Let me here. Right. In the first two weeks after the invasion of Ukraine, the prices of oil, coal, and gas went up by around 40%, 130%, and 180% respectfully. So oil went up uh, 40%, coal went up 130 and gas went up 180 But what oil do you think? It's talking uh, here. It's talking about sunflower seed. The price of sunflower seed is since the or war in Ukraine uh, threefolded. Let me see here. Hey, here. Translate page. The price of sunflower oil has approximately tripled since the war in Ukraine. A year ago, a bottle cost like one euro of one liter. And now you can pay between three or f and four for the same bottle what 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 yeah that's what they did this is un this is uh, unrighteous this is a uh, abomination you know what if it was fair it was fair there's something else but even then you, they shouldn't be doing it but then again is another race that's uh feeding us and by the way you shouldn't be drinking this shit anyway but it's the cheapest of them all. You know, this oil, if I if I eat it, I wanna throw up. I get I get nauseous. I don't use this garbage, man. So I didn't buy it. But yeah. The fact that it's there, look here. You got crazy prices like this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's crazy. And that's not that's not forty percent. That's not forty percent, my man. You you see you see this price over here? Is eighty dollars. Eighty euros actually. You got some wacko here selling it for five hundred euros. I'm not kidding you, man. High prices of sunflower seed. Typical Dutch no, wait, let me 